Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We are talking about Star Wars Legion Kill Team today. There is an all new mode of play that was just announced. It's going into a public uh, beta, which is not a private beta. That means like you can check out the rules. You can start playing it today. And it is uh, it's basically Kill Team for Star Wars Legion. It is called Star Wars Legion special operations well special operations beta we're going to talk about that in today's video what does it mean what are the rules what does it change about the game and uh, spoiler alert a lot kind of everything and uh, we're going to talk about uh, all of this and what it means and uh, and i'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video um, if you guys are new here to the channel little admin stuff before we dive too deep into this uh, we're doing a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway if you're interested in uh, in having a chance to win that you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos it's as simple as that also thanks to today's sponsor luxury playstyle amazing full metal tokens double-sided they're heavy they're gorgeous you're going to absolutely love these they're fully compatible with Star Wars Legion as well as they have tokens compatible with other games Games like X-Wing, games like Magic the Gathering, Keyforge. Check them out. Head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com. And don't forget, while you're there, use code VIP. It's going to save you 15% off your purchase. You don't want to forget about that code. Also, let your friends and family know, hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. And, you know, if you, if your sweetheart or somebody, you know, that wants to make you really happy is looking for gift ideas, send us over and also include the code so that they, they can save as well. Or, or just treat yourself. Treat yourself. Head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com. All right, so Star Wars Legion Special Operations Beta. This is a, uh, you know, they're, they're, they have a, if you have, I'm going to put a link down in the description below so you can check out the, the site that they shared. Uh, it's AtomicMaskGames.com slash Star Wars dash Legion dash Special dash Operations dash Beta. It's a whole lot, right? So just click on, click on the link down here. They shared it out on social media. There is uh, the first, uh, basically the first link is their their article that's talking about all of this. Uh, Will Schick and Will Pagani designed this and Andrew Dursum helped uh, develop it. Um, and it's going into a public, uh, public beta, which basically means you can access the rules and all the cards and materials associated with this. Start playing it now and submit feedback. There's gonna be a couple of, uh, like I think February and then April are two like big testing periods before it becomes like official, right? Which is uh, which is pretty interesting. Now it's a new mode of play. Uh, there, what we basically, uh, you know, there's a rules document. So if we want to check that out, um, this is like a word document. So very much like work in progress. It's not like a finalized PDF or anything. Uh, and basically, it's kill team. If you're not familiar with what that is, let me just explain. It's a smaller version of Star Wars Legion. So instead of building a whole uh, kind of army, you're going to have a, the equivalent of like a one squad. So maybe like one unit of stormtroopers is all you play, but each stormtrooper is their, like their own individual person with their own health pool and their own weapons and stuff. So each so one mini is about as strong as a whole squad. Um, and so that's that's kind of what you're doing here. Um, it's still going to play on a 3x3, three three, uh, and it, it's not getting rid of skirmish, um, although it certainly feels like it would compete with skirmish for your 3x3 three three kind of smaller battle. Um, another thing that's very, very different about this is you're using uh, pre-made squads. Like, you don't really get to do list building in this. You are you are running specific quick builds, basically. It's kind of quick builds like they did for, for X-Wing. They're quick builds for Legion. And these are all new um, units. Like, everything in here is something you've like seen kind of before like the only thing that you're gonna that's gonna be really the same in this game is a couple of the star wars legion basic rules and the miniatures themselves and of course if you're you know um, now there is a thing in here that says you must use uh official star wars legion miniatures and i think they just like have to say that because because of like legalese reasons but you can use whatever you want you can use legos you know, it's, it's like a free rule set that you can play with your Legos right now, kind of. You know, that's another way to look at it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, but I guess that's the way most, that's the way most games are. You can always use Legos. I, I'd rather use the actual miniatures anyway, because you already have them. I mean, if you're watching this video, you might already have a whole lot of Star Wars Legion minis, and, and they're, they're great minis, so, you know, why wouldn't you want to use them? I mean, if you want to 3D print your own, you can do that too. Like, maybe you want to have, like, a separate you know, set of minis for this, and who knows, whatever, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, you do you, 
Um, I don't really care what you do for the minis. <laughs> so, uh, but basically, you're going to be building your, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be selecting a squad, kind of. They, you're, you're not really, um, you're not really building a squad. Uh, and you also can't use any of the command cards uh, that you have in the game. You have to use the command cards that are unique to this format. And there's a whole bunch of unique command cards. Links are on that home page. And then you'll randomize for, for player color. Um, and it, it just talks about it. It's not that many pages of new rules. Uh, it says 16 pages here, but a lot of these pages are like some of the new scenarios and uh, some of the squad building lists and stuff like that. So let me go back up to the top. I just wanted to scroll down. I'm going way too fast to read. All right. Um, so one another massive, massive change is that this uses tape measures like uh, sort of like a lot of other war games like like Warhammer and uh, again, like Kill Team, uh, you're going to be using inches. So you have to have uh, some kind of ruler or tape measure and you want more than a ruler because some of this stuff will go beyond 12 inches. Uh, it is pointed out that a lot of Legion players may already know this, but in case you didn't, uh, your distance one is exactly six inches distance two range two is exactly 12 inches each of those range markers that exist so you can use those if you don't mind uh like marking off like your halves and your quarter you know like but you're gonna need like it looks like most stuff is kind of in intervals of 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 three inches so if you don't mind like marking like a halfway point on those you'll be able to kind of tell you kind of can play without it but it, you know you'd have to measure one of those six inch uh, range rulers exactly in half and then you'd probably be okay um, but yes, so, uh, so there's another thing is you can't, you can't move twice. Uh, well, you kind of can, uh, they say you can only do every action once, uh, they've replaced either your second move action with something called dash. So everybody has a, a dash action, uh, and it may make a speed one move, which is interesting to me why it, it cause it's, cause technically that makes it sound like it's not a move action. Of course, again, this is just, this is just like a, an early beta rule set, um, you know, and I just imagine that having a dash action that's not a move action, but that lets you move could be a little bit problematic as far as, uh, as f just certain other things. Like if anybody has like jump or, or you know, you, you don't have, you don't have like the emperor in here or anything like that. You don't have Yoda. You don't have to worry about like, oh, I can't make a dash action because it says I can make a move action. Is there, do these things trigger after a move action? What does that trigger after a dash action? You know, is a dash a type of move? But anyway, they don't. But the idea is they don't want you doing. If you're a speed three unit, they don't want you moving twice, uh, because that you can go really far. And this is a three by three. Um, so if you wanted to move twice, your second action would have to be a dash, or at least one of your actions. It could be your first, I suppose, uh, which is just a speed one move. Um, also, suppression and uh, courage and all of this, all of the suppression and panic stuff, which, again, they just totally changed these rules. Now they're changing them again completely differently, but again, it's just for this format. So you can't use commander's courage value at all, um, which is interesting. Uh, you also, if you are, uh, <laughs> if you're suppressed, you don't lose any actions, but you lose dice when you attack. Completely new mechanic. You know, you know, it's funny, like when they said this is not the sweeping rules change uh, on uh, to Legion, like uh, with the rules change that we got. This is a sweeping rules change because this is very, very, very different. Um, also, if you panic instead of running away, you just take damage. Uh, so that's also very, very interesting. Basically, uh, for however much after you after you rally, however much suppression you have over your courage value, you take that much damage and then you wipe them away. Basically, you, you pick up the, the tokens and, you know, you burn out a little bit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's interesting. You're also not removing, uh, suppression at the end of the round. Uh, but of course you can, uh, I guess that's going to put a little bit of increased emphasis on the recover action. Um, cause you're not actually building out units. So you're not going to be able to put like upgrades on your units that have like the recover symbol on them. And so, so recover, like, you know, you're not going to have as many options there. And so a recover is going to be useful for getting rid of all of your suppression uh, because that's going to potentially add up to a lot of damage. Um, and that's kind of interesting uh, because, you know, like somebody who's maybe hard to kill is going to, you're going to find like, oh, well, I can just suppress you to death. And then, you know, you're going to, you're going to rally and, you know, panic and then maybe take two more damage. And maybe it was the last two damage you needed uh, to, to survive. 
Um, there are minor changes to terrain and that they're removing difficult terrain. Um, I guess since you have a dash action, that probably doesn't matter. You know, you're not going to have to you know, move difficultly. It's either impassable or you can just move over it normally, which is going to be weird for like, a, can you move? What what happens for you to to move over a barricade then? Because is is a barricade open terrain or is a barricade impassable? I, you know, I don't know. That might be in here. Maybe I just missed it because um, these just came out last night. So we're kind of looking over it. I've looked over it br um, briefly. Uh, a lot of changes, especially the units. Uh, the, they're all new unit cards, but they're obviously based off, like there's lots of Stormtrooper and Rebel Trooper-like type of unit cards. We'll look at those. They are massively changed. Spoiler alert, there's no surge to anything on anybody. And that's a huge, huge change, which is important because that leads into cover. Cover is basically massively changed. Uh, instead of canceling dice, all cover does is it lets you convert defensive surge. So basically, if you have white defense dice, no cover doesn't exist anymore. So white defense dice is more of a death sentence now than it ever was before, right? Um, it basically means you always take all of your damage 100% of the time, <laughs> you know, kind of. Not, not really 100%, 90, 95% of the time, for me at least. That's how my white dice are. They're garbage. Mm. And because and there won't be surge uh, anymore, which which I mean I guess it would be nice to take revenge on rebels, you know, like look look at these guys, like no surge for defense anymore, but still those white saves, you know. All right, we'll come back, we'll come back, we'll look at those again some more in a minute. Uh, there's there's so much. Um, they put some a reference to the keywords. Um, what, the only real change to these so far is that suppressive uh, can have an X after it, which suppressive was just a, it was never a suppressive X, it was just suppressive. Um, and so I guess they're making a change to that. And again, since this is a, like, seems like it's gonna be a living document, they're asking for feedback, a lot of this stuff can change. Uh, a lot of, some of the keywords we're gonna see on some of the cards have changed a little bit for this format, um, which is interesting. And there's a uh, covert deploy, uh, and they're gonna have a special condition token listed on their card, and uh, you know, so you can kind of try to deploy um, like infiltrating wise, and then there were spe some special tokens that go with that. Uh, you're also going to choose what kind of mission uh, you can either choose collectively as a group, which mission you want to play, or you can random it, which is fine. I mean, you're getting rid of that whole mini game that happens with the battle cards before the game starts, uh, but you're just going to play one of these scenarios, and they uh, basically all have to do with objectives, and, uh, and all the rules are going to be in this document. There's a bringing down the shields one. There is um, this one with a, a, a vehicle. Uh, you're, this one actually has some uh, a transmitter card on it that you're going to be filling out, right? Um, you've got the codes uh, mission. You've got what, there's a disabled vehicle mission, and uh, and let's see what else we got there. And then you've got this condition chart. Um, yeah, I haven't looked too much into this one yet. Now you also have pre-built squads. So Gar has. What you have, um, what two? There's only two squads so far. Um, so it's gonna be an arc trooper captain, two arc troopers that are regular, two arc troopers with a jetpack, and an arc trooper with a DC 15. And that's the whole that's your whole army, it's all pre built for you. And we're gonna take a look at those cards, all right? Um, there's going to be uh, a clone trooper squad you can run too that has a a clone commander, three regular clone troopers, a clone trooper with a Z6, a clone medic, and an R4 astromech. Um, and that's kind of how a lot of the, and there's a page for this for each of the factions. Separatists have a tactical droid, uh, 5B1s, a, B, uh, a B1 with an E5C, um, two B2 super battle droids, and a worker droid. Um, and so it's like kind of the equivalent of running, you know, a single core and a commander, you know? Kind of, except you're activating every miniature by themselves. Um, then you've kind of got a special forces. So this is kind of the normal. It's like everybody's either got like a, a more traditional like commander and core, or a more of a special forces type of unit that they can that they can that can be their army, right? Um, you've got some droid commandos in that one. If the Empire has uh, uh, an Imperial officer and a bunch of stormtroopers and a medical droid. Or you can run basically Inferno Squad, but not Inferno Squad because there's no uniques in this at all. Um, there's the uh, in Imperial Special Forces Captain and then Imperial Special Forces Troopers, three Scout Troopers, uh, a Scout Trooper with a DLT-19. And they say R4 Astromech here. I believe that that is a typo uh, if you look at this because that is going to be the ID-10, like Iden Versio's miniature. 
her 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 extra little miniature, her little uh, her 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 ID ten droid. Um, although it's not the same one, it's not the unique version. Right? Uh, you've also got let's see what else you got. You got a Rebel Trooper squad here. Again, following the same kind of basic blueprint. Uh, you've got a Rebel Trooper Captain, uh, four Rebel Troopers, a DLT Rebel Trooper, uh, two Pathfinders, and an Astromech. So you do have some Special Forces in that one. And then you have more of a Special Forces Commando squad that's going to have a, a Rebel Commando Captain, three Rebel Commandos, a Commando Saboteur, a Commando Sniper, and a Wookiee with the Bowcaster. So pretty cool stuff, right? You've got, uh, you've got some different options. They're all pre-built, so you don't have to... You don't have to do any kind of list building um, at all. And it tells you also what command cards you can take because there's special command cards. Let's, let's look at some of these uh, at some of these units because they're very much different. This has all changed. You've got an Imperial officer. Um, he's got like new stuff. So if you notice, remember we were talking about range. Choose a friendly Stormtrooper unit at 8 inches. 8 inches, not range 1, 8 inches. So that's 6 inches plus 3 inches. If you do, they may make a move action uh, and then it may make a melee attack. So there you go, right? Like it's kind of like a pulling the strings. Um, spotter one. Okay, we're familiar with that. Instead of range one, it says six inches. Uh, again, so that's gonna that's gonna take some getting used to for people who are doing this. Is that you're gonna have to get used to the inches. Now, if you've played Games Workshop games before, I, like I play Age of Sigmar, I've got I've got my tape measures and stuff like that. So I'm I'm kind of used to it. Um, you, for his range, too, like, now this is just one guy. This isn't too different. You're used to seeing Imperial officers. Five health, two courage, white defense die, no surge at all. He's got you know, two dice for melee. Uh, he's got four dice for his range and critical one. Now, this is this symbol here is really kind of sketchy. It's, it's very pixelated, and there's an eight in there. It doesn't look kind of like this. Did a, um, It's very strange looking. With, um, but I believe this is just eight inches, right? He's got an eight-inch attack. Um and he's got chain of command. You can choose two friendly stormtroopers at eight inches, and they can gain a standby token if he gets issued an order. Standby is pretty strong, right? Uh, and then this is kind of how our stormtroopers look: um, six health per stormtrooper. Take that, Darth Vader, right? Your stormtroopers in here have six health each. <laughs> You've got uh, one courage on them, red defense die, but again, no surge. Well, now all of a sudden, that armor, which normally was was only a little better than Rebels, is now a lot better than Rebels. Like, oh my gosh, because you, you know, they don't have Surge for defense either. Well, there's, you'll see, like, there's there's some uh, ways that people can gain Surge tokens. And there's, you know, of course, now cover is going to be more important to gain all, to, you know, to at least to to be able to try to convert some Surge. Uh, you got Precise 1. Uh, and, and, like, and the other actions seem like they're still there. You still have Aim and Dodge and Standby and uh, Recover, <clears throat> stuff like that. Um they can spend a Sam uh, standby after an enemy performs attack at 18 inches instead of 12 inches. So again, that's basically um, performs an action, not an attack. Um, now this is a little bit different because the the keyword reminder help on this it says uh, after somebody performs an action, but normally standby is after they perform an action or an attack or a move because free attacks and free moves that aren't considered an action, like a repulsor vehicle doing its, you know, um, its automatic move, all of that stuff would normally also trigger standby. So I wonder if this is just a, like a deliberate change, or if this is just a, hey, this is still kind of early beta info. So maybe, you know, I'm just, I'm curious about a lot of things like that. Um, and then we got unrelenting advance. Uh, you can, you can cause an enemy to, if you cause an enemy, you to, to, when this unit causes an enemy unit to panic, it may make a speed one move. So, um, again, you know, this is this is confusing to me because they say panic doesn't use the the rules in the rule book; it uses these rules. And so, if we go back to panic, let me jump up to that because I don't think you're instantly panicking anymore. Um, instead of using the normal panic rules. Um, at any time a unit gains suppression that would cause it to have more suppression than its current, oh, they're panicking immediately. All right, so you don't actually wait until after. Okay, that, that makes more sense. All right, so if, yeah, if you cause somebody to panic, then that, all right, then that, that does work. That does work. Um, let's go back to here. Uh, and so we have lots of different stormtroopers, and they're numbered. 
Uh, so where you would need, where you would see upgrades, they're numbered, so you can like see like, oh, this is Stormtrooper one, Stormtrooper two, and Stormtrooper three. You can track their health and, and things like that. This is your DLT nineteen. Uh, the weapons are also pretty interesting. These guys have our twelve inch range, and they can, which is actually a lot less because Stormtroopers used to be range three attack, and the twelve inches is just range two, right? Uh, a red, two, uh, three black, and a white. So a Stormtroopers are rolling some wicked dice right now. Although they lost their search to hit, didn't they? Um, uh, and then we've the DLT has uh, still five dice, but uh, two more, two of those black. Oh no, he's got yeah three red, two black, impact one, and suppressive one. I wonder if we're going to see anything with suppressive two. I didn't look through everything. Um, the medical droid is uh, that's pretty nice. It's a regular action, but it can remove two wound tokens, and there's no limit to that. That's pretty cool. That's another thing is this is pretty much all troopers. Um, it, it basically is all troopers. There is a, a vehicle for this scenario, a mobilized vehicle. Um, but but that's about it. Um, you've got your pulse scan, uh, threat assessment tactical one. This is your ISF. So this is the unit cards for your 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 special forces. And all of these are out there. I'm going to go through them kind of quick. Um, got a holdout blaster at eight, eight inches there. E11 at 12 inches. What is our sniper's range? Let me see if I can find the, the sniper. Um, 16 inches for your DLT scout trooper. So that's not bad. Um, it's still less than range three though. So it's gonna force you to get a little closer. Even your long range stuff is only 16 inches. So um, major, major changes, right? Uh, our GAR squad is, uh, our, our GAR lists rather, they're all right here. You've got your ARC troopers. Um, you know, if you gain, after you attack, you're going to gain a dodge token. Dodge tokens might be a big deal right now. You know, they might really be a big deal right now. Uh, since you don't you have as much, you know, you, there's no surge to defense. Although the, all, the clones, just about, all, I think they all have reliable one. Um, so at least you're going to have that. Um, so that might go a long way towards making clones nice. Um, it's an interesting thing to make clones more balanced in a format that's not like the regular game's format. Hopefully, you know, Gar gets some love uh, in, the, in the real game of Legion. Um, we've got Spotter, we've got Take Cover, which is kind of cool. You're doing, uh, doing two, two and E. So like the clone commander can just be like, all right, you know what? Two dodges, two aims, and that's my activation. I gave out four tokens, which is really cool. Um, and at the start of this unit's activation, they may this unit and up to one friendly unit at range six may make a free dash action. So this dude can do a lot, um, which is kind of cool. Your regular clones have no keywords anymore, no fire support. That's all gone. Um, and again, no surge, which is kind of standard. No upgrades or anything like that. But the pretty good melee, all right? Four dice for melee. Again, five dice uh, at range. Uh, now this one's really clear, right? The twelve on these guys is really. Like the resolution's really nice. It's not all pixelated like the other ones, which is which is wild. Uh, critical two on them for attack, so pretty cool. Um, uh, heal on the clone medic, kind of kind of standard, but a better attack on the clone medic than on the droid. The droid just has that one die, although it is suppressive if the droid gets close. Astromech just has a melee attack, no ranged attack on the astromech. Uh, when this unit makes an objective action, it may re-roll any number of dice rolled as a result of that action. So this astromech has like virtually no combat value at all. It's just there uh, for objective actions that require you to roll dice. Um, separatists are, are gonna be a little different. You've got a, a tactical droid with five health, two courage. Uh, he's got guidance, uh, free non-attack action, so you can hand off some standbys that way, which is a little bit interesting to see the CIS be able to hand out standbys in the way that Padme used to do that for the Republic. We've got command nodes uh, that where you're um, issuing a, what you're, you know, that you, just, you start in your chain, right? Um, if you have a face-up order token, uh, the weapons of other allied units at 12 gain critical one. It's going to be real nice for... For all of your droids, it's kind of like you're you're making making up for not being able to take aggressive tactics or something like that. Uh, eight inch hand blaster and uh, three dice for melee, which is good. Now your, here's your B ones. They do have AI attacks still. Uh, they got four dice uh, and, and with a suppressive one uh, attack. Uh, they don't have any surge. Again, nobody has any surge. Uh, they don't have critical one here, but they could get critical one if you have your droid uh, going last. And so that's a, a cool thing. 
Um, yeah, one courage, four health each. So they die a little bit easier. Um, but you, you know, you can you got four generics there, five generics. You got more of them. So you know, I'm, it probably all adds up. Um, you got the E5C who he's got six dice now. What kind of E5C is this? Because in the regular game of Legion, the E5C does not six dice. It's not, you know, two red, two black, and, and two white. So that's, you know, like, basically he's firing a, uh, he's, he's firing an ATST weapon. So he's got a really big E5C, which is weird to me because I thought an E5C was standard in, or, you know, like, like certain weapons were standard. Unless, of course, it's like, custom e5c or hans dl44 you know so that's that's weird or or like an e5c mark ii or something like that then they could change it a little bit but it's i don't i wonder if that's going to eventually change maybe it's going to be a modified e5c or you know something like a strike team version of an e5c because the dice don't match up to what an e5c is um in this in you know in star wars legion um they've got uh they've got the B b2s five health two courage Armor one, AI attack, also suppressive, critical two, five die, I'm sorry, four dice in melee and four dice in range, range 12. Um, worker droids, uh, it's got AI dash, which is like, that's kind of interesting to do dash first. You have to do your speed one move first. Um, six <laughs> health, zero courage value. Now that's not a null courage value, right? Not a null. So that means any suppression he takes is instantly a damage. So that means every time you shoot the worker droid, if you rolled one ink, it's automatically a damage, even if he manages to save everything. Anything he doesn't save, if you shoot him with suppressive, that's two more damage. So this is somebody who can easily get one shot at, uh, very easily get one shot at. Uh, immobilized vehicle. Again, we got for these everywhere. Like, um, we've got the uh, the BXs. We've got a pulse scan, making people lose uh, all dodge tokens and gain an observation token. That seems kind of kind of nuts. You know, that's interesting. Um, Critical, lots of critical on this guy, which is kind of cool. Makes up for the, you know, a lot of the lack of offensive, uh, you know, surge tokens and stuff like that. Um, you've got armor one, scout one, critical one there. Um, armor one, scout one, critical one, right? A lot of, a lot of that. You got some, a little bit of impact. You know, now because you can't have vehicles, you're thinking, well, why is there so much impact? I mean, there's not so much, but why is there impact? All, you know, it's because of that immobilized vehicle. Uh, for that one scenario, so you'll have you'll need some impact depending on the scenario that you end up playing. Um, and you've got the Magna Guards; they they have charge, which is going to be probably pretty strong in this format. Um, but maybe that's one of the reasons why they didn't want people just oh, well, I don't want you doing two speed two moves. Uh, although some of the you know, there's some of the objectives and then the stuff will say that you can do two speed two moves. These guys have six dice in melee and immunity to pierce. And then critical one, three dice, uh, ranged attack at, at, at range eight or eight inches. Uh, that's just pretty pretty tough. Pretty tough. You got the Electro Whip guys, also six dice. A suppressive three on the Electro Whip. That's going to be so much extra damage on most people. That's uh, That might be like the, one of the strongest weapons in the game, you know, right there. Six damage, six dice, pierce one. Already, you're gonna get a lot of a lot of hits through, a lot of hits through, and in charge, so you can like you can move and or you can dash and then move and then melee, right? And then it's suppressive three on on top of everything else. You know, if they're already yet max, uh, you know, if they're already suppressed, then you're just gonna do three extra damage on top of that. That's wild. And then we got our rebels, our trusty rebels, um, sharpshooter, scout, camouflage. Camouflage is basically they 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 took cover away and they gave cover right back. Uh, as a way to kind of give rebels. Um, what I think is interesting about this is that they're trying to uh, give some faction identity to like the starting factions, like 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 camouflage, like that's kind of cool, right? At least well, once you get past the old oh, cover, kind of doesn't exist anymore. Not not the way it did. I mean, it's just going to give you defensive surge now. Um, but yeah, so so camouflage is kind of cool. Um, and in like trying to give the rebels a little bit uh, of a different identity than they had before, um, you've got uh, range 14 on this A280, which is a little bit long range. All right, so rebels have a little bit of range; they kind of want to hide. I guess that helps make up for them being white saves uh, and uh, and not have the numbers that the B1s you know have. 
uh, 14, you know, you got a little bit longer range there. Um, you've got a Rebel Commando. Well, I don't know why the Rebel Commando is a heavy. That's, I, I didn't even really look at, at these before because the mobilized vehicle is a heavy. Yeah, I, I, that's probably an error. That's probably, again, again, it's a beta test. Rebel Commando probably shouldn't be a heavy. Unless he's like a super, like he's a bionic Rebel Commando. Like he's been, he's been shot up so many times and rebuilt faster and stronger. He's a Terminator. Get down. I'm a, D, I'm a Rebel Commando DH-44 sniper rifle. I'm going to move at Scout 1 and Sharpshooter 2. Sharpshooter 2. Oh, and the 2 didn't work. The 2, I, 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 I turned into a different accent. And uh, the Wookiee Warrior. Wookie, there's Wookiees here. Um, no range though, right? This is just Rook Blade. I thought they, I thought there was a Wookiee with the Bowcaster. Maybe that is was a misprint also, because in the thing it says I'm 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 looking at it. Oh, we gotta look at the Pathfinders too. So it might have been a yeah. That Wookiee clearly doesn't have a Bowcaster. Pathfinders have Agile One. Uh, it's just gonna be nice. I think Dodge Tokens will be good, for, especially for these guys. Danger Sense. Um, that's gonna be dangerous on these guys. They're incentivized to, you know, to have two suppression, but that means every time you get suppressed, that's more damage. Although with seven health, maybe they can take it. Um, nimble, so that that's about the same. Valor, uh, when they perform an attack action, remove up to one suppression token from a friendly unit at six inches. So these guys are like like very different. A lot of the stuff that's the same, but it's gonna it's going to react totally different to the new mechanics. Um, and they've got a 12-inch range, critical 2 on that. And that's 2 red and, and 3 black. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we've got another Pathfinder unit, R5 Astromag. Choose a friendly unit at 6 inches against a Surge or removes a Suppression token. So, yeah. So the Wookiee doesn't have a Bowcaster. We do have our... Um, we've got our Rebel Commando. He's a, he's a giant Terminator. With critical two and PS one, get down, get to the, get, get to the, the immobilized vehicle. What are you doing, Wookie? Where's your bowcaster? Oh, there it is. How did I just miss that? I could have sworn I went right past. Oh, he was been below this. There's a Wookie warrior with the Rick blade. Okay, that's a nasty Rick blade. Six. That's a Darth Vader attack, right? Um, well, count close to it. Um, he's still indomitable. That'll be nice. Um, but it's a little Courage too. Okay, it doesn't have the Fearless thing like Chewbacca did, which I don't think the regular Wookiees had that. Uh, our, our Bowcaster Wookiees are Critical 2, Impact 1. And still got 6 dice, Impact 2, so you can, can overpower for the melee as well. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And that's, uh, that's basically, and, and those are like basically two preset squads per faction. Um, that's, uh... That's most of it. Now, the only other thing is that there are each faction also has their own command cards. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. Uh, there's no art on these. Um, they'll, yeah, it's just, you know, you have your orders. It's, it's all blank right now. Um, so if you're fancy and you want to Photoshop some art into these and you print them out yourself. Some of them are, are like have, have pink in there. Some of them have white in there. These are very much work in progress. Um, I used to play test for a lot of games, and this is a lot of times how play test uh, cards look. They, you know, they're not gonna, they don't want to give out all that art that maybe that art hasn't been approved yet. Maybe they're gonna reuse art, but since it's in a public play test uh, thing, uh, it's 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 a it's a thing. It works. Um, but yeah, so like this is like one of the big changes here is like you don't have standing orders anymore. You've got you've got a four pip. It's just called you have your orders, right? And it's empire only. Um, and it's gonna issue some orders, and it's gonna gain surge tokens again, right? There's 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 stuff like that, but there's other four pips. There's oppression. Uh, when an enemy unit rallies, it removes one less suppression token. That could be nasty. Oh, by the way, it activates no units, no unit. All right, so like there's all kinds of like these are all totally different, all totally different. Um, so then there's a lot of them. You can check all of these out. Um, you know, suppression stuff. That's you know a, a big thing. A lot of suppression related stuff for the empire. Right? And again. There's a lot more. Uh, there, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You can check them out, and uh, and and yeah. So it's a three by three, short range, kind of smaller skirmishy type, and, but not skirmish because that's a whole separate format. Skirmish is still uh, you know effectively unchanged, um, but it's got, it's got some competition because special operations is now something that you can try. 
So there you go. And if you want to check it out, by all means, let me know what you guys think. You can jump in our Discord and share some of your thoughts there. It is, uh, it's available for public testing. And uh, maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. Um, I'll, I'll give you some of my thoughts. Um, my thoughts are that uh, my well, I like certain like different modes. Um, like my, I like the idea of having like a fewer people on the ground and getting a quicker game in. Um, I really liked the hero battle, um, which is basically and it's not an official game mode, but it's something I've done. Uh, where you just run 800 points like you normally would, like normal list building, with one key difference is that you're all, um, well, I guess maybe technically two key differences rolled up in one. Uh, you you only run uniques, and you don't really have a, a, a cap on how many, you know, uh, of any given unit rank. So you just, just run uniques. So like 800 points of all heroes, right? So Palpatine, and Vader, and Iden Versio, and... Uh, and General Veers, you know, and, you know, is that 800 points yet? And, like, you run whatever upgrades you want on them and, you know, and just build 800 points of just heroes. And uh, you'll probably have, like, four or five miniatures. If you're playing Rebels, you'll probably have, like, six or seven, right? Um, and because there's... I, and I did it a while back when I... Not long after the Clone Wars had only, like, a, a couple of waves. And there wasn't as many. So, like, you know, the option was with, like, well, let's do good guys together versus bad guys. So you can you can mix and match, like... You know Obi Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker and stuff like that. You know like you can you know just do heroes versus villains. You know just do your hero battle and that. Uh, um, and so like I used to do that a lot and I really liked that. Um, and and, and is, that's some of my favorite stuff because I but I really like the heroes. There's two things about Legion that are that are my some of my favorite parts. Um, one is vehicles. I love the like the ATST is like one of the greatest models of all time. I love having big vehicles, big huge towering miniatures that are awesome and vehicles tend to more often than not do that in star wars legion and they're awesome for it the only one that really is like like not that cool for me is the droidicas now they're a great model but they're just so small to the ground especially in ball form that they don't have the the imposing vehicle pe presence right but like the tanks and the and the speeders and the the hover ground platforms and the you know and and of course the big walkers and it's just so cool stuff um and then the other thing that I really love about Legion is the heroes, the, the lightsabers and the force powers and the command cards that come with them and Palpatine running and using that one pip and all the craziness and like the risk and reward that come into play and all that. Um, and so all of my favorite things about Star Wars Legion are uh, not allowed in this format. So, um, so I really don't like anything that I see here, really. I, I, I will probably never play it. I, I just I couldn't be less interested. No vehicles and no um, no no Jedi, no 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 heroes, no no uniques, you know, and, you know, and they, they they just and it's so drastically different than Legion. It's like a, it's a whole different game. And I'm also really confused why they would make something like this that seems to directly try to compete with Star Wars Shatterpoint, like. The big difference, like Star Wars Shatterpoint is already so similar to Legion as far as, from, I mean, from a, from an outsider's point of view. So somebody who doesn't play either one of these games is going to be like, oh, well, this has um, Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi in his, in his pose, in his hello there pose, right? Uh, but, oh, wait, but Legion has Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi in his hello there pose. And, oh, are they, how big are the minis? Well, they're almost the same size. They're, like, very, they're ballpark, they're in the same ballpark. Very like, whoa, this one's this big, but this one's that big, you know. Like, if you, I mean, stand up Marvel Crisis Protocol, you know, a typical like a Captain America up to right next to like an Obi Wan Kenobi, and they're they're not exactly in the same scale, but they're pretty close, right? So, it's like, Shatterpoint's already so close to Legion. The thing that kind of separated it for me was that Legion was supposed to be like big battles. Legion was never really big battles, though. You still don't have ATA, ATATs. Uh, you don't have ADATs. You don't have ATTEs. You don't have any of the big stuff that makes the Star Wars' army versus army battles shine. All right? I mean, I guess you have like snow speeders and the ATSTs. You have a little part of that. You don't have the hallmark. You don't have those centerpiece models that you need for a big ground game. But still, Legion was about as close as we were going to get. 
And I don't think they were going to do an AT-AT. I, I would love for the, something like that to happen. I want bigger war games like that represent like a, I'm commanding an entire army or a, or a massive fleet. Even Armada at 400 points never felt like you're fielding a full Armada. It felt like you have a small fleet or a flotilla, um, you know, at, at the standard game size. So I think Star Wars Rebellion is the only <laughs> game that makes you actually feel like you're in command of a whole fleet because you can have you know, 10 Star Destroyers, three Interdictors, you know, a dozens of tie, like TIE Fighter Squadrons, maybe like maybe like 30 TIE Fighter Squadrons, you know, you, you can have massive armada of, of ships and, and massive numbers of gr tr ground troops and walkers and ATSTs and stuff in, Le in Rebellion. So, but Legion was about as close as we we're going to get there for, you know, a, a hobby miniatures skirmish kind of, that kind of war game. So doing this format, just I, I feel like it gets us right to like that was the to me the hallmark of what Shatterpoint was supposed to be different. It was supposed to be smaller battles. Now considering that Shatterpoint also has generic troops like clones and B one battle droids and stuff like it, wasn't exactly there. It wasn't quite the hero battle that I was looking for because you still have generic troops in there. Um, so it's just going to be smaller battles, and I'm like, well, maybe that's what Shatterpoint will be. Is it'll be more like a kill team for Legion because I'm just going to have like either four or eight people on my team versus your four or eight people. Again, we still have to learn a little bit more about squad building and, and how uh, how many minis are going to be versus how many minis in any given standard game. Um, but it looks like it's going to be eight minis versus eight minis, which is, you know, almost exactly what this is. I think the key difference here is you're looking at what? Like uh, seven minis? Like, let me scroll down here. Um, how many is the... How many of the separatists have? That'll be our high point, right? Rebels, it's one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, rebels have nine. So eight minis versus nine minis. Is that like is that? You know, I know, and I recognize that the rules are different. Like they have their own rule sets, and this one's like a whole and completely different rule set. Um, I just, I'm just really confused by it. The shift to the established movement tools to now having to use a, 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 a range rule or, or you know a measuring tape and uh, and I, you know it's um, it's 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 wild to me it is it's pretty wild um, but but yeah all of my favorite things about Legion don't exist here you know there's there's no list building okay I could I could be okay with that I could be okay with like quick builds you know um, but it's all boring nameless troops who watches Star Wars for I want to see a rebel trooper who has no name, you know, um, go do something. Like, I, 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 you know, you want to see Cassian Andor do something at, at a minimum. And he's, you know, like, and his show was cool, but, like, I also want to see, like, The Mandalorian. And I want to see, you know, Luke Skywalker. And I want to see walkers and tanks and vehicles, like, in the, in the big stuff. Those are the cool parts about Star Wars. And to strip away everything that's cool about Star Wars into this, I, I just... Oof, I don't know, man. I think I'd rather eat a rotten banana than, than play this. But that's that's my initial thoughts. It might change. It's a beta, so uh, that's, that's my feedback. I'm not going to beta test it, though. I don't want to... Uh, playing this would be punishment. So that's my thoughts, but I'm not necessarily right. If you th Maybe it's exactly what you're looking for. I want to hear about it. Let me know what you guys think. You know, it, 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 is this something that you're excited about? Is this something you're not excited about? I think I'm also kind of a little salty that, like, they're. I feel like AMG is kind of holding X Wing and Armada hostage when, like, you know, like let it go, let somebody else have it. You know, where, where is this type of work for for the other games? Granted, I don't necessarily. I don't. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm I'm convicted. I, do I even want something like this for Armada? You know, I'd I'd love for them to just, you know. I don't know, do something, but here they are creating entirely new rule sets for, for Legion that doesn't need it because they have Shatterpoint coming out. I'm just, I am just baffled with what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 so weird to me. I, I'm going to I'm gonna focus. I'll do what I do best. I'm going to focus on the things that I really enjoy, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to Shatterpoint. I hope Shatterpoint is fun. Uh, I really hope it is. I'm, I'm, we've got a lot of time to go. Um, and I enjoy Legion the way it is, although they did just completely change the rule sets for that, and I still haven't played the new rules yet, so I've got to get some games in for that. 
This is just all very, very weird. All right, guys, <laughs> that's, that's some of my thoughts, but you don't have to agree with me. Let me know if you think I'm totally wrong. Maybe I'm missing some critical piece of the puzzle. I want to hear about it. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. May the force be with you. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes, and cowabunga!